Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here again. In today's video, we are going to be checking out the roots of Nintendo handhelds. This right here is a Game & Watch. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with a Game & Watch, um, but for those of you who aren't, uh, essentially this is one of the first, if not the first, um, handheld gaming device by Nintendo. So Nintendo was established a very, very long time ago. It's been around for ages. They were making little um, cards and different sorts of like physical board games and whatnot. Um, and then the founder, Miyamoto, or one of the dudes, <laughs> I can't remember his name, um, he was apparently on a train and saw a businessman playing with a calculator as entertainment. And then he thought, I'm gonna make an LCD handheld game. And that's probably the most inaccurate um, background history ever, but yeah, it's something like that anyway. So this thing runs on two little LR44 batteries. Uh, they're quite expensive. 1982 on the back here. This is the, um, the Donkey Kong one. They made lots and lots of different ones. Even on the back here, we've got a licensed Mickey and Donald one, Oil Panic and Greenhouse. So there's a, a bunch of different ones that you could get. Um, so I bought this on eBay recently for £20. Can you believe it? £20, which is an absolute steal. It came with the box but the box is really, really tatty and it didn't have anything inside, so. But the Game & Watch itself is immaculate. There's hardly any wear on it at all. The top has very, very little scratches. The top's sort of made out of like metal, so it scratches super easily, but this one is mint. It's missing the battery cover, unfortunately. You can 3D print replacements, or you can buy replacements for a couple pounds, um, but I think for this, I'll be able to just hold it in, um, and it doesn't work at the moment anyway. Once I put the batteries in, uh, it doesn't do anything. It's meant to sort of make a couple beep noise because obviously this is a game and watch. It does have a clock in it, but um, yeah, not doing anything. So let's go ahead and see if we can fix it. Um, I'm going to take it apart. I haven't taken apart one of these before properly, so uh, it should be quite fun. And yeah, without any further ado, let's crack on inside and see what's going wrong. Alright, so we're now basically at a point where I have removed the, uh, the piece which houses uh, the D-pad and the D-pad membrane and the other various buttons. What I can see just peeking underneath, if I just sort of move my light here, you might be able to see it a little bit better. Um, there's a little bit of corrosion just under there. Hopefully you can, you can see that and the camera is picking it up. Sort of underneath that ribbon cable. And if I just lift the ribbon cable up slightly, you can see it goes a little bit further. What I do want to do regardless is clean up uh, all of the corrosion underneath there. So that is what I'm going to do right now. God. <laughs> oh my God.
Well, I tell you what, I have surprised myself today to my absolute surprise, and honestly, I do mean that with full hearted sincerity. <laughs> oh my. Um, I fixed it. It was a little bit confusing. I don't think I needed to do quite as much as I did. Um, basically, the, the corrosion that had somehow appeared on the board had gotten onto one of the traces, and I believe um, it could have been one of the, the power related traces because it was coming straight out of the battery. So in fact, I'm 98% sure it was a power related trace. So yeah, I've now got this thing fully working, which you'll probably be able to see there. Um, I need to get some, some battery sort of um, a battery cover. You can 3D print them. All of the buttons work absolutely fine. I didn't do a lot of cleaning to this because it is uh, in very, very nice condition already. Um, and it's also a very fiddly little thing, so I didn't want to have to keep taking it apart, um, and I'd already taken it apart enough. So yeah, it's a really, really fun game. The screen is uh, really, really faint, but I think that is because of the, the batteries. Um, when I tilt it, it's absolutely perfect. Um, but these batteries came straight out of an old Olympus OM10, which I've been using for quite some time. So I think I just need to put some new batteries in here, 3D print myself a new um, battery cover instead of having to spend another five pounds on eBay to get this thing going. And we'll be cooking on gas. Not a lot I can do about the box, unfortunately, other than um, put it in a box protector, like I said. Not really worth doing. But um, yeah, this video has been very, very fun to do. Um, I was really, really worried about it because um, I just couldn't get it fixed. So that is going to conclude this video and this let's refurb of the Donkey Kong multi-screen game and watch by Nintendo of 1982. I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. You can pick up my hats as well. Check the link in the description and my t-shirts. I am wearing one. I do wear them. I like them. Oh, there we go. I got the Game Boy cartridge one on today. <laughs> Catch you in a bit. Bye.